Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biology. Uh, today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about uh, acute face protein. So, let me write. Acute face protein. Now, this is a, uh, another video lecture which is also regarded to the immunology. Now, what are the acute phase proteins? Again, acute phase proteins are the cytokines. These are the cytokines that are usually uh, released out from the liver cells. Liver cells. Okay. Now, how it is released out from the liver cell? You know, whenever uh, the bacteria or any microorganism, usually whenever the bacteria are, uh, you know, inhaled or ingested by our body, then this bacteria will, you know, activate the macrophages. So let's suppose if in this case we have the bacterial cell. Fine. Now this bacterial cell will activate the macrophages. Macro phage now once the macrophage is activated against this bacterial cell then after that what happened this macrophage will release interleukin 1 6 8 and tumor necrosis factor etc now once each molecules are released or cytokines are released by the macrophages then each cytokines will activate or stimulate the liver cells they will stimulate and activate the liver cell now after some time the liver cell is activated and stimulated and they will release the acute phase proteins okay now acute phase proteins usually include they contain a uh, C reactive protein surfacent protein A and surfacent protein D they also include uh, they also include mannose binding lectin proteins okay now all these uh, are usually included in ac acute phase proteins now once each proteins are activated so each of the proteins will cover the whole bacteria okay let's suppose these are the proteins these are what these are the acute phase protein now once the acute phase protein covered this bacteria then this bacteria uh, you know uh, it covered the bacteria uh, due to for the opsonization process now due to this way opsonization process is occur means the bacteria is looking tasty for the phagocytes and the phagocyte will easily engulf this bacteria as compared to those bacteria which don't have each of the proteins okay now moreover if uh, the bacteria are killed so definitely the process are under the control you know among them among each protein this crp1 usually interact with the c1q protein c1q protein once it react with c1q protein so after that they will activate complement pathway complement pathway now similarly uh, if you remember we already talked about the complement pathway okay if you missed that video le lecture it is present into my channel you can watch it and then whenever if you guys remember we also talked this mbl as well now if they activate with mbl or whenever uh, the proteins uh, the whenever mbl proteins are released so then they will activate mbl yani mannose they will activate mannose binding lectin pathway mannose or we can say menon menon al binding lectin pathway try to remove the spelling mistake by yourself okay we moreover in this acute phase protein 
these two proteins, as you are watching, these two proteins end with this C1Q. These three proteins are act as a collectin. These are what? These are the collectin. Now again, collectins are the proteins which are usually secreted from each of the uh, macrophages. Collectin proteins. Now this collectin proteins is composed of uh, collagen. Fine. And this collectin protein are usually secreted from the phagocytes. Now once it is secreted from the phagocytes, so due to this way, they will cause the destruction of this bacterial cell. Okay, and after some time, the process will be under the control. That's, uh, you know, okay. So how they can uh, kill the bacteria? So let's suppose if the collectin protein will be look like in this form. So remember, each protein will bind to bacterial cell. Let's suppose this is the bacterial cell. Once these proteins are bind to the bacterial cell, so then apoptosis phenomena are happen to bacteria. They will activate apoptosis process. Apoptosis. And all of you better know that apoptosis is the programmed cell death. Finally, the cell are die and the process are under the control okay so that's how the acute proteins are perform their function inside our body i hope you understand about this video lecture if still you have any kind of questions related with this topic you can write it into a comment inshallah i will give you answer as soon as possible if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel to get more interesting video lecture related to the immunology thank you so much